figure we do it like the old fashioned way where we're about half an hour late. And instead of playing anything fancy, we just sit here and have a conversation, you and I. So, Ross. What's up? I'm short on jerseys tonight. I got to cover those cushions down there. Okay. Yeah, I don't tell me either. You guys tell me, fans? I, know, I can tell you that your top gun one was kind of hard to read. It feels like a blue jersey. You know what? I can fix that. Well, I'm like the guy from Holes. Sure. I could fix that. There you go. Yeah. Like that light doesn't help either. What light? The light on the reflection on the silver. See that? Yeah, I'm mean, trying to. That's not my fault. What? You're <laughs> alive. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't being argumentative, for real, for real. So, Ross. That is me. How was your off season? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The one that started the minute Jace dead and broke your old ass. Oh, shit. What? Isn't it a fact? Jace broke you. You told me yourself that night. You told me how Jace was I tough. I definitely did not tell you that. You said that guy's tough. Straight I up. Did, I might have told you. You did tell me that. You don't remember. Hey, he, he broke you, bro. Nah. He broke you. Like Bane yeah, broke man. Batman. Jace nah, broke Ross see, and TBT face to belly. That's why the difference between me and everybody else is I got up and told him great hit and then went back to the hoe. Because it was a great hit. I didn't expect it. But it was your last game ever. You sacrificed your knee to beat the reckless villains. Well, we did win. We did. So there is that. Yeah, there's that. Ron Savage asked me earlier, is Team Tell Talk going to be a cat to fail? Nah. Y'all can go ahead and handle that. I'm busy on Saturdays this spring. I did go out with a trophy, so there is that. You did. You were on, you were on the honorary team. You were the Robert Woods of the TBT squad. Um, um, yeah, kind of like how Robert Woods won a ring with the Rams, but didn't actually play with us. Shout out St. Louis Rams. One old school night. All right. That's Watch rough. the county flag football league. That's rough. What's rough? Making that Woods comparison? Yeah. What? I didn't actually play with you guys. I missed what? The championship? He did. I was on like, semifinals yeah, okay. too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I made every, dude, I played fucking corner. I know. You shut I down. I played Ruby. corner and there wasn't a touchdown or a single pass. It don't matter turn. though. That's all in the past. Side. We're in the future today. We're yeah. in the new age. I'm a Robert Woods championship guy. Can y'all hear him? I can't. Catherine has sound. All right. Sean Taylor does not have sound. All right. Let's get this. Let's post a link in the comments. We got flag football this weekend. And it's going to be cold as fuck. Sorry, I, I did not mean to cuss. You know what I mean, though. I'm already looking at the temperature. It's like literally 43 degrees at the high on Sunday, but I'm stoked. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? We didn't get to have a fall here in Washington County. That's fall weather. We're going to have fall weather Sunday morning. That's going to make up for the lack of fall down here. We'll get our fall experience Sunday morning, 9 a.m., when the Warriors take on Top Gun. And I'll tell you, uh, anybody who wants to join, go ahead, click the Zoom link. If you got the Zoom app, go ahead. This is going to be a good week. Washington County Flag Football League, we are back for the 2022 spring season. And I will tell you, Ross, I'm just glad to be back home, man. It's been a long, long, long time, to be honest. You know, I thought about it earlier. I haven't called a championship game since 2019 for the league. That's wild. X Dogs ADR was my last chip. Program Spartans was the last game I called in the league. I didn't even finish that game. You did. Remember, because I was in severe pain from all the work I put in that day. Wait, which game was that? Program Spartans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Five overtimes. Remember that? Yeah. The college rule was implemented before it was implemented in college. That came out of nowhere, too, in that game. Came down to what we call, like, the penalty kicks. Yeah. That catch in the, the catch in the end zone. 
where I believe Cortez had it, but he was short, and they were holding him down, and then the game just the whole gate spills out into the playground from that point. Like that is one of the wildest games that you'll ever watch, and it's on there. You can find the Broadway or Tri State Spartans. That was the last game I did. That was November first, two thousand twenty. Technically speaking, I haven't really been here since then. Um, I showed up a couple times last spring, but that was just at the very end when it was clean up duty and all that. I'm just going to be back, man. Sunday morning is going to be lit this spring. And I'll tell you, we got a nice week ahead of us. Um, let's first look at the teams this year. In the Washington County Flag Football League, we got returning teams returning from last spring because that was the last official season returning from last spring will be the warriors correct you remember the warriors Ross? i think i know a little bit about them. yeah I've heard of them. I've heard of them. yeah they were very close last spring remember they were in the semifinals against the tri-state spartans and uh, hey if, I, if there was ever one of those games where like nothing together from the warriors way it was that game Sometimes it's just things don't go your way. It was a crazy game. Like, hard to believe where we are now. I remember telling Chris and I could cross them up if I went out there and played wide receiver. You probably could. I can believe it. It worked. (laughs) He started worrying about me more than he was worrying about the guy in front of him. In the end, though. trick of the trade on them, uh, in yeah, the end, you Spartans all took you won. all took an L. Try state yep. beat you guys. They sure did. And now here we are and good game, Spartans. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and as for the Spartans, that was kind of the end of that high point for them. Yeah. We talked about it earlier when we posted that video. Try state after that. That this was team we started 15 and 5 last year. But after that hot start, the rest of the way, their record was seven wins and 13 losses. The only wins they had down the stretch were against uh, you guys as well as the X-Dogs and Keystone. They got two wins in the Charm City Classic against the Bulls and, of course, against uh, the Jets. And even one win in Keystone against the Killer Bees and a forfeit on primetime. But now here we are. Warriors are back after they missed last season in Keystone because, you know, that was our tenant for the spur- fall, technically. And Tri-State's not here. But I hear there's some kind of flavor that this Warriors team might have a little Spartan blood in them. This might not be the Warriors we're accustomed to. What do they got? We will see. But it's really interesting. It's like I said, man. It's been strange times. I'm curious to see what's up. This is going to be awesome. Next up, returning chaos, not pure chaos. Tornado is dead. I don't have the official jersey yet. Yeah, we're keeping. I'm glad glad the toilet paper's gone. Come on, man. Tornado is where it was. The crane toilet paper. Hey, I, got, I used that for the Cecil County chaos uh, one time. So, like, it works out. Like, up, it's McKeon? good doing your slow go. Keon, too, watching. But Keon, hey, he was a big standout player the last McKeon. few years. Yeah. Can't wait to see where he's at this season. Oh, man. Let's see. He called it a long time ago. Remember that was on Chip Let's mm-hmm. get back to Washington County. I'm going to sit up. I look huge. Jesus. Keon, I put on some weight, cool. though. That's a good question. Let's keep going. Talk about football. Chaos, not just any chaos. We got pure chaos, but chaos has changed. They are not the team of old. What's up, Skinny? Skinny saying hi. So anyway, that rain didn't happen. It's starting to rain here. Hella rain. Can you hear raindrops rolling background? Anyways, let me talk. What's up, Skinny? You gotta say hi, Skinny, bro. I know. I'll say what's up. Yeah, let me cut in. Sorry. Go ahead. But I'm talking chaos. They're a little different this year. I hear it's a bit. Uh... Anyways, this chaos team, I don't know what they got exactly. 
I know you're going to get the exact, I don't know if you're going to get a little more of what we saw in Washington County last spring or more or less what we saw in KFFL toward the end of fall where they seemed like they were starting to get their full core together and had an idea where to go. Needless to say, I think chaos is looking to make a ruckus this season in the Washington County Flag Football League. But not only that, they're going to be in the KFFL too. They're up there in Keystone every weekend as well playing double headers or every other or every whatever at this point. So chaos is going to be busy this spring. You know, Tri-State did that last year. They're doing it as well as this next team who is new to the league, the Killer Bees. Yes, the Killer Bees have joined the Washington County Flag Football League. It has finally happened. The Bees are coming to Washington County. The second greatest, yeah, the second greatest nine-man dynasty in Southern Pennsylvania behind the X-Dogs is coming to the Washington County Flag Football League. The Bees are here, Ross. And remember, when they came down to Hagerstown and won that Ned tournament a couple yeah, years ago against you county that. guys. I knew you were going to say that. I think the Killer Bees, yeah, Eric Hardy yeah. and company, they're coming to invade Washington County. They're coming to take over. Can they come in and pull the double or even a triple? Can the Bees win Ocean City? Can the Bees win KFFL? They're going to be a beezy team this season. I'm excited to see what the Killer Bees can do. Other teams we got coming back. The Misfits. You excited for the Misfits, man? This is going to be big. Defending 2020 champion. Uh, they were not playing in Washington County last spring. They were busy on Sundays. They had some bigger fish to fry. They wanted to take care of at the winning county. They wanted to win OMFFL. However, one and done in the first that round there. However, but don't forget, runner-up in KFFL and OMFFL last fall i'm excited to see what the misfits can do also into the foray we got the demons coming in from the kffl but this is a washington county team through and through we know who these guys are yeah. and we're really excited to see what they could do this season the Kramley coming out there looking forward to seeing what they got um but also in the league this season we got top gun coming back first time in four years i'm really excited about that November 10th, 2018. That was the last time Top Gun took the field. Better question is, when was the last time we saw Wheezy on the field? Yo. That's true. What's up, Wheezy? How you doing? Pretty good, man. How you feeling, Mr. Blaze? I'm feeling good, sir. Feeling good. How are you? Great, man. What's going on, Ross? What's up, Wheezy? Man, I can't call it. <laughs> When is the last time we saw you on the field? Yeah, man, what were you in County last? I have, I mean, I saw uh, you a little bit in 2020 on the Misfits sideline, but. Yeah, Misfit, Misfits championship uh, season. I think the last game I actually played in that season was the Spartans game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. That game feels like it was an eternity ago already. Yeah, it was a brick ago. And then I played, um, where else did I play? I think I played in Owings Mills a little bit. Owings Mills, yeah, we were. I think I saw you a little bit last season when we were over there but, uh, but, last spring. But since and I, yeah, but since then I've been chilling. Hey man, you've been putting in the work every year since I've known you. Um, whether it be out there with the Tri-State Spartans or even with the Brunswick Assassins, going way back, we know you were with the Nation at one point. You're part yeah. of that mayhem core. You've been around the block, Wheezy. You've gotten the uh, experience. And that's how you got a lot. I, I didn't play on mayhem, bro. Oh, you were buzzing that season 18? Yeah, I was out that season. Oh, you were. Oh, that's right. That's when the injury was. My bad. Yeah, I hurt my knee. Yeah. You know, I, I you know I was close. I always get something wrong once in a while. No, nah, facts. Everybody yeah, makes memory, facts. It's, it's it's Alzheimer's, man. I'm getting old. But uh yeah, I had to call in because talking about my squad. I'm looking forward to your squad. Who is your squad, Weez? I mean, I'm not gonna get too much away, but too I much. I mean, I'm run I'm I'm running with chaos. Chaos? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 
So is that a package deal, or are we going to see you, Rome, and Sean, too? I mean, you know I always come with some type of package deal, but I can't say if it's going to be that one. Hey, man, you guys are always a good combination to have. We've seen the work you guys have done together. Talk about the ears. They were with you at Brunswick. They were with you as well uh, with the Spartans. I know you were on the sideline supporting them all the way early on. Um, you had to take a big role back then in coaching. What are you looking to do this time around with chaos? Are you looking to be more involved like you were with the Spartans? Will you be more of a player this time around? Or are you trying to be like uh, someone on the side helping out, sort of like where you were with Brunswick in the beginning? So um, my goal with chaos and the reason I, I came in was because, I mean, I originally was going to run with Ruckus because I've always wanted to run with Ruckus, to be honest. Those are my dudes over there. And they always have the hardest uniforms. Um, but some unfortunate circumstances and Ruckus wasn't isn't able to be. So we merged with chaos. And um and you know, it's just gonna be I'm trying to be more of a leader. Like uh I'm gonna be more of a player coach than anything. Because what they lack, they got a lot of talent them young dudes is they can ball out they just need the leadership that's what they lack they lack the veteran leadership to really to really keep them together and and press through the the difficult parts of the game like i agree with that so my, I actually my goal is that. to just put yeah my my so my goal is to, I mean, we've already, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to give too much away. We've, we've recruited heavily. We, we definitely have the pieces and the athleticism. And it's just about, by, to, to me, by the end of the season, I don't even want to have to play. I want to just be able to be out there and these dudes know what they got to do, know their responsibilities, and just ball out. Understandable. And I actually think that's a good role for you. You know, we talked mm -hmm. about it. All of us now are in our thirties and there's a lot of kids beneath us right now. I just turned 33. Yeah. Those kids beneath us though, they're the ones who are going to carry this game for a long time. And we need to start looking into helping those guys get elevated to make sure they can carry on after we're going. Yep. And to get on a level where they can compete out there, whether it be in league play or out there traveling anywhere else. Like, we got to look yep. into the youth, man. Like I said, we're in a weird time period in the Washington County Flight Football League. We're mm -hmm. sort of rebooting this year, mm -hmm. but with the same guys, except we're a little older now. But we're here for fun. We're here for joy. We're here for that last final couple years of playing the game we love at the highest level. I mean, it you're right though like it's it's kind of a reboot i mean we got a new commissioner shout out to moats um and i think moats is going to do a very good job for a decent amount of time in that role and as long as like you said we can keep the young talent interested and involved the older dudes going to show up if they got people to play with like and when you love the game you're going to do uh, whatever part you can to keep it alive, to be honest. Yeah, like you said, we, we in our 30s, but I'm my knees is 85. <laughs> so I can't, I can't run around like I used to. I feel, no, I feel that. I think we, I think Ross, you feel that too in your knees. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that? And, my knees have been shot since I was in like. I mean, like, Ant just came on. Ant's shot, dog, yeah. Yeah, I'm here, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's just cool in my. Speaking of squad, I'm excited to see what Cram Connection about to be about. Oh, man. Nah, 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 nah. Not connection. We're not a connection. We're the central oh, gorillas. Yeah, All central right, let's, let's put yeah, this out there. I'm going to put this out there. Connection was an error by me and a miscommunication from Eric. I forgot yeah, to correct on some copies. Yeah, I fixed it on others. Like we was a fucking warehouse or some shit. I know. I, know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, <laughs> hey, 
Fan Connection is actually a nickname I used for last year when they had that uh, Pat and Cash defensive end combination. I called that the Crab Connection last year. When they were all okay. That was a sick combo, though. I hope to see that again. That was some good DN work last year they had. But no, Crab Central Gorillas is their name. They're up there in Keystone. I want to yes, see the, I want to see a game up there this year, Crab. Hey I mean, man, we were supposed to do this shit. We were supposed to put in uh, the Gorillas. Uh, what, what year was it? I want to say uh, last was it last? No, nah, not last year, fall. I think the year before that we was gonna put them in there. That was before Demons had decided, you know, to come out. And uh, Abe and uh, Abe and Spole was talking about that shit, man. At first, it was gonna be the Cram City Hornets. You know what I mean? But they changed like it to that. the Gorillas. Yeah, they changed it to the Gorillas. But this shit gonna be lit though. It's definitely gonna be lit. You gonna see, you know, what I'm saying some familiar faces, a lot of new faces. People who uh who aren't playing in uh basically uh a few uh other leagues pretty much you know what I mean people that's coming down I think you got some guys that's coming down from Yahoo. Okay, it's see, definitely the, gonna be lit though. Yeah, see that's the thing about up there at KFFL is being on Saturdays they don't they have a lot of open opportunities for anybody who is available that day to show up on a roster which can lead to some yeah. interesting combinations i remember the team you had and back at summer sizzler 19 that spartans oh, team that came in and people forget that spartans team came the closest to shutting so down I had, that day you know, if, if i had that team now still i promise you it pretty much that 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 team is basically what outlaws look like right now. With with uh, they're not outlaws with, anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, they're, I understand. They're got, for you in the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, yeah. For you, for you to envy. For you to is that what their name is? For you to envy. Yeah, for you to envy. Yeah, that's their name. I thought now. it was like a tribute to somebody. And that's like, I mean, yeah. to, nah, that's. I mean, for real, for real, this team is this team is based up on uh, upon uh upon uh Sean Simmons uh suicide squad, basically from uh a lot of guys from the Yaffle oh. and over eight man league. And then you got some guys from uh the Yaffle uh actually hand over indoor league too as well. So you got a lot of guys that's coming out. Uh they wanted to change the name, you know. I think Sean had uh talked to Grant, you know, him and them guys had worked something out to change the name. And um, they're bringing a lot of. They're gonna have a lot of a lot of good guys out there, man. They're gonna have a, a tough a tough D line. I don't know as far as the offensive line. They still have the same offensive line. You know, Sean can make a person miss back there. I mean, just that he's almost you know a half size smaller than Andy and can move a little bit quicker, but he still can't run. I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform out there, man. Like, so are we say is this more or less? Sean's team at this point, and not what it was with Grant last year. Yeah, that's what you just. Said. Uh, I mean, Grant, Grant is still behind everything, but as far as like, as far as building, I mean, everything built building comes from Grant. You know, Grant is an O line, D line type guy. You feel what I'm saying? But as far as skill players, I think, uh, I think Sean had brought in a lot of skill players. You know, he got a lot of guys. You know, plus he plays semi pro too as well. So you know, he got a lot of semi pro guys that's coming to come check the situation out, see what's going on, entering the roster. I mean, this is all hearsay, you know what I mean? Until I see it week one, I don't know for sure what's going on. But as far as what I know, uh, playoff game in uh, Yaffle Hanover League, the indoor shit that we played up there with um, 717 Elite, um, he was saying that uh, basically, you know, he's bringing a lot of talent in. So I haven't I haven't been able to see them. I know they've been getting a lot of scrimmage work in lately at, down here at the fairground in Hagerstown. So I didn't really know. I haven't been seen them. But... Is what it is. I'm just going out to go ball. I can't wait to see how they come out and play. Like it's a shame I won't be able to make KFFL hey. uh, this year, but if hey, I do get out there one Saturday, I'm excited to see him. Hey, Ant. Yo, who you running with uh, in county? Well, uh, Washington County. Yeah. Oh, I'm a misfit. Okay. My God. Yeah, I'm a mis- Yeah, I'm a misfit. You know what I mean? Uh, I was going. I was going to rock with the Warriors. Don't get me wrong. And this is how. And I want to clear the air for the Warriors that don't know. You know what I mean? And uh, I even spoke to Sean. I mean, I can send anybody the screenshot 
ain't no line in my game. I'm not one of them type of dudes. But uh, basically, the week that I spoke to Sean, two days later, my brother Larry calls me. He's like, yo, what you doing? And I'm like, shit, in the house, chilling. And it's, uh, yo, I'm putting the Red Knights 2.0 overloaded team in. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he was like, nah, no bullshit. We bringing all the Red Knights back, you know what I'm saying? From back, you know, when you first started playing back in 2016. So I'm like, yeah, okay, you blow it, shit. And he was like, nah, for real. I'm, not, I'm already on the line talking to a whole bunch of dudes. I already got the group chat started up. What's up? Like, I need you. Like, you my little brother. Come on, come rock with me. Let's get the chip. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I thought about it for a second. Next following morning, I say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go back home to the same guys that basically showed me the game when I first came in 2016. Tay Sosa, Black, all those guys. I don't know if Black's actually coming. I didn't see him in the group chat. But, I mean, if he does pop out, that's what's up, too. Love him. Um, yeah, but, you know, a lot of those a lot of those good guys, man, you know, showed me the game back in the day. So it was like, you know what? Ain't going to break when they need to be fixing for real, for real. I mean, I needed a home at the time. Warriors, I really appreciate you guys for – uh, allowing me to come out there to come play with y'all, you know what I mean? Like, giving me that opportunity, even though I haven't suited up yet, or made a practice or anything like that, still, y'all really appreciate y'all for, you know, reaching that hand out to me, because a lot of other teams wouldn't have gave a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of other teams wouldn't have cared, and a lot of other teams didn't didn't reach out, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, I mean, Top Gun, Ruckus, I already had problems with chaos. I told chaos I was never coming back after that season at the fucking boat oh, ramp shit. Man. So I, I bet I bet I've been so oh, chaos. Man. I was never coming back after that. You know what I mean? It's way too many dick eaters over there. So I don't I don't do all that. Understand me. We don't tolerate no dick eating around these parts. To be clear, you nah. chaos there. We don't do that. We don't we don't do no dick eating, bro. We don't do no dick eating over here, man. That's it. Respect is due, and respect is due. That's all. That's all it is. You feel me? I come to win, and I come, and I come with. I come with a lot. You feel me? I got two chips. I got two chips, sealed chips at that. Once against the ship lip Gators, and once against the Spartans, sealed it with a pick six. So, with that being said, it, it don't make a difference. If Dustin Mitchell didn't fucking play his own, and Thad would have dunked on his ass for that post route that Keenan was throwing to him, because that's exactly where it was going to. In the end zone, from the twenty. So, you got a lot of guys that you got a lot of guys. You got a lot of guys that just like playing with each other, man, because they grew up with each other, and I can understand that. But when you when you putting your money out, I don't give a fuck if it's thirty dollars for a player fee. I mean, shit, I paid thirty dollars plus maybe a hundred dollars for jerseys. You know, compression, dry fit, whatever the case is. So, you know, when you taking your money out to do that, man, you still wanna you still wanna go out and you still wanna play ball. And you still want to field the best nine on the field. You not want you don't want to play buddy ball. I don't care if it's league play or tournament play. You don't want to do nothing. It's just crazy. Nah, ain't, I can't, ain't, ain't none of that I shit, right? Yeah, I can't I can't do that shit, bro. I I can't do it. Shit, I, at chaos, I'd rather have Marty start at quarterback than Houston. Shit, I, I there's no point of me running around with Houston at quarterback. You know what I mean? So gotta do what you gotta do. I wonder though. Do we see? Well, we got to we got to do quarterback days? too. Cram Central got to do quarterback too. I'm not playing quarterback for Cram Central. Cram Central got to do quarterback. I don't think he had a snap in nine man period. I don't think he had a snap in even semi pro because he plays a lot of semi pro as well too. So I ain't gonna not, mention. That. So it's not the guy Nick from the end of program. Oh nah, hell nah. I don't even, bro. I don't even know what the hell even happened to him. Like I seen him in the group chat. Nice <laughs> Yo, I, yeah, nice I don't know Nick. what happened to him, bro. I swear, I don't even know who what was he? To that. Nobody knows. What was his last name? I just know his bro, name was Nick. I have no idea. That's somebody that Polo had either went to college or high school with. I'm not sure, bro, but that's where he came from. Polo had knew him. Dill said he disappeared. He was, damn, yo, he was a damn good quarterback. It's just that, you know, he didn't know the nine-man game, and it was yeah. fast pace for him. So, like, wild he's calling season, us. Though. That was a wild-ass right. season. Oh, my hey, God. Hey, wow, hey we just talked about it, it uh, Cray. That the game at set. Sorry, Luis. Hey, fellas, I'm about to call it a night, though. Uh, I think we went through. Uh, I think we went through four quarterbacks that year. Me, I think. Uh, I think Ron. I think Ron took a snap for a game or some shit like that. I know Dave Maxwell played quarterback, and then Nick came I, in. 
Do you, you remember that uh, Tri-State Spartans game, the last ride for the program in that quarterfinal that went to five overtimes? Oh, yeah, bro. That was a fucking crazy-ass game, bro. That was that's, crazy. That's, that was the most craziest game. game right there ever. Yeah. That was the most craziest game ever, bro. And just to come back, just to come back and win that game by three points, yo, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was relieved. No, nah, I'm talking about the one that the last game of the program, the 2020 game. You're thinking of the B championship. Yeah, I was thinking of the B championship. What yeah, game are you yeah. talking about? The one where you guys lost in overtime. It was five overtimes, and you guys ended up the game went almost two hours. Uh, the winner ended up playing the playing showtime. They ended up oh yeah the showtime. Oh yeah. Game. Yeah, yeah, and that's when Showtime almost cracked against the Spartans, actually, in that playoff game. I remember exactly what you're talking about now, too. Yeah, yeah. that was the greatest playoff in this league ever had. Yeah, yeah like, five OTs. A, yeah, that – And we just couldn't – I just couldn't, like and, – and still to this day, I even tell myself this, like, I go back and I look, you know, getting the ball down into the red zone and shit when I'm playing quarterback. My red zone – my red zone play calling – is not the best as far as start of the game, start of the play, you know, getting the ball, changing possession. It's kind of fucked up and awkward for real, for real. But in the back of my mind, it's designed, it's designed to work because I know it's going to work. You know what I mean? So when I call yeah. a play, it's like, I, I see it. And then I'm standing at the defense. I'm like, oh, yeah, I definitely see it. But then it's like, well, shit, God damn, he got his fucking flag pulled. Uh, but all right, we got to call something else. So now it's time point. Now it's to the point where it's like, you know, you got to get to your, your, your Brian Alfieri and your Chris Boone moments, and you really got to call some shit that's really going to design to fuck the entire defense up and make the defense look one way and the ball is going the total opposite way. So that's what you got to do for real, for real. And I've, I've learned that shit a lot during this whole entire offseason and especially playing in the indoor league up there at Hanover with Beats and them and Gure. I mean, yo, Boone, I've seen Boone. He, he's basically literally – crossing routes. Everything is just a crossing route thing. It's literally a crossing route. So it's like hitting that crossing route, rolling out, stepping into the pocket, it's like, yo, it's crazy. And Boone, Boone is making, I mean, Boone is making a, a great D lineman, you know, miss. And we talking two, three people rushing in a seven-man league, you know, and you only got four DBs, you know, one, one sitting for a leak, man. It's crazy. I'm just glad you guys were able to get out there for the winter this year. It's been pretty hard to find facilities for winter work, but it's a big shout out to the YAF and Fel for putting that together up there. Oh yeah, definitely needed that. Yeah, I think the COVID had shut that league down a few years ago, man. It was pretty bad. Yeah, and I'm glad we're starting to get back to some sense of normalcy. And I can't wait for this Sunday at Dupont. I was out there earlier today. We shot some video, took a look at the field. She's a single mother, man. She got to be. Jesus. <laughs> but, nah, we were at DuPont earlier today. It looks awesome, man. The setup there is great. It's the very back of the facility. Uh, when you pull up, it's about a quarter mile back road. It'll say dead end on it. But, like, that dead end is the field. There's plenty of parking. Uh, we're going to actually see if I can actually play the video real quick. We're going to get you off of here, Ant. I feel like you're just looking, sounds like you're pretty busy over there. Yeah, man. Fucking uh, my brother. You're over here, drunk. <laughs> I got you. All right, man. Y'all be good, man. All right, you too. Let's go ahead and try to get this on. All right. Damn. But. Damn, damn. I'm excited to see uh, Cram Central. It's Cram Central. You a hater? I'm not a hater. You I'm are a hater. Those guys, man. They know that. Look them, man. I think Ross Collins is. Nah, you just, I just feel like you a hater sometimes. Why do you say that? It's because it's true. Tis what it is. I can't do a direct dial, can I? All right. I don't know. Why am I asking you? But we'll show it in a minute. 
So Weezy's on Chaos. Ants on Misfits. Yeah. They were going to do the Red Knights Reloaded, which I like the. I was kind of intrigued by that prospect. Great recruiting tool. That's for sure. Everybody should just start using old team names and just saying that's the same team reloaded. I'm trying to get my dad's team back together. Hammer's reloaded. But get my dad, Diener, Keith, all them. If they could compete. Five man. Yeah. Oops. Hold on. Sorry, kids. Let's take a look at the field earlier. Who's your preseason number one, Jack? Who is it? I'll just close it until we get to the power rankings. What's that? We're doing a power rankings? When was the last time we did that? Oh, shit. There you go. There, there we go. Your answer. Here we go. Let's take a look. This was earlier today. I went and visited over at the field. There's DuPont. So for those coming off 81 from Martinsburg or anywhere south of Folly Waters, it's going to be the exit prior to Folly Waters by the Sheets and the Walmart. Once you get to that intersection, turn left. And then there's about like a quarter to half mile drive. You'll come up to a, to a place called DuPont Park on your right. Turn right there. There'll be a dead end sign. It's a quarter mile back road drive from that point. This is the field and facility. I was there earlier. Once you get to the end of that quarter mile, you'll be there. This is what it's all about. That there's a cage set up, kind of like KFFL does. That's the surrounding area, as you can tell. Very secluded. This is not really like any other facility we've had up to this point. Um, yeah, a lot different. Um, you know, we talk about Marty Snook over at, at one point in time. See, we got a Porter John right there, already there for us, guys. Your bathroom woes are gone. There's also about three more, actually, a little bit downwards, too, from where the cars are parked at up front by the field. So if you can't go there, there's another one to walk to as well where you're parked at. Um, but, yeah, we talked about in terms of, like, being a little secluded. There is soccer going on on that field at a certain time, but that's allocated to Sunday afternoons after 1 p.m., so we should be good by ourselves in the morning. As a, and I believe we should be able to take care of ourselves well. We've done great in recent years, I feel like, with fields. it's And I feel like, like especially with KFFL, we've done a good job. iPhone is trying to enter the room. Uh-oh. We'll give him a second. But I'm liking the way this looks. Plenty of space. We got the, we got the field to ourselves. We're going to see who iPhone is while we're continuing to watch this video. There's the other side. It'd be a push the goalpost back a little bit too if we need more space because you see the field runs even further back. So we got a large amount of room there. So we're going to have a full length field, soccer field, which is larger than a football field. So, which is larger than a nine man field. So we definitely got the room. We definitely got the space. I'm really excited about this facility. And you see the bleachers out there as well. So if you got families who want to watch the games or have girlfriends or anything, friends who want to chill, there it is. You can pull out park. Parking, I believe, is allowed on the grass, although I don't recommend doing it in some places, just whatever you can. Plenty of space on the sidelines. I like this facility. Um, like I said, the only way to access it is a quarter mile back road drive. Off of Route 11, you can either access it from the following waters exit or from the exit by the sheets in Walmart. Let me set it up because I actually can't even tell who called in because it all says it's iPhone. I don't have a video on my end either because I'm staring. Damn, at- you just you just accepting anybody's phone call? I am actually. I've done that oh, before. Shit. Oh wait a minute, you know supposed to be here. You're not allowed. Hold on a second. There's a band here. Like, I gotta kick you out. Hold on. This show's over. Now let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Damn Dame, welcome back to the Washington County Flag Football League. Man, it's good to be back, Joey. It is good to be back. I like the setup. I sit in my own backyard now. 
Man, I'm I was gonna say for the for the longest time, like you and the other guys who are coming up from too much talent, adrenaline rush, were coming all the way from Winchester at first. And as over time now, it's suddenly what 15, 20 minutes, give or take, depending where you're at. Yeah, so I I actually live in West Virginia. A couple of a couple of us live right across the state line in West Virginia. Like me, Cannon, SP. So we we all right here. So that shit literally is like a 10 minute drive for a bunch of us. And that's something that I'm really happy about this season is for the first time, we're giving back to the state of West Virginia. And we said it last year when we were leading up to Ocean City, the state of West Virginia at one point had over close to 100 players playing nine men. Damn. Yeah. And that's just from the Eastern Panhandle. Like it has taken on, it took on its whole thing in this region over the course of the last seven years. I talk about when I came up, Washington County over the years did have a lot of players come up from that region. There was some leagues I heard about back in the day, but by 2014, there wasn't as big of a presence. You take a look now, like that whole Martinsburg region has just taken you know, the sport Martinsburg, and made it its yeah, own. Yeah. yeah. Um, that little corridor over there. Yeah, Martinsburg, Inwood, up there towards Falling Water, Spring Mills, Hedgesville, like Winchester's Virginia, though. But you know, but Winchester no, did play whatever. a big role. I do. Yeah, I know. But Winchester, we forget. Five years ago, did play a crucial role in the growth of the Washington County Flag Football League, driving an hour away after playing eight man yeah. games in the morning. Yeah, I, we. We're just glad to see the league grow from – it's crazy to look back five years ago and just, like, where the league was at, just as individual players. Like, to see how far players themselves have grown, like, that's just – that's just wild. Bro, it's crazy to think back to it. Like, we talked about it a lot. Like, last year, we highlighted 2016 heavily. It talked about how everything from that year helped set up everything we're doing today in our league play and media and everything else. Like all of us started coming into our own around that time period um, in the nine man game, whether it be as players, media, captains, and you yourself, Dame, you remember those days. You remember your first time out there on the circuit. Way back. Yes. First Not time. Oh, that's a throwback. ALU, too much talent. Around this time period, this wasn't really quite yet the TMT we knew, but a lot of that squad we saw here would come to play in the spring of 2017. Memories of this game, Dane, and this tournament, the Mason Dixon mm-hmm. Classic 2016, your nine man debut, I believe, for this area, right? Did you play any tournaments around here before? No, not the, for this area. This was definitely my first debut. I remember uh, TJ asking a couple of the eight man guys, like, yo, there's a nine man tournament up in Hagerstown, da 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 da. And I remember, like, Q. And Alex and a couple of dudes hit me up and was like, yo, we're going to go out there? Like, what's up? I'll rock if you rock. Shit. Let's go play some football. So, I mean, it was just a – it was honestly like I think Q hit me up on like a Thursday before the tournament. I was like, yo, TJ hit me up. I was like, yeah, TJ hit me up too. I wasn't really thinking about it, what you want to do. So, if it wasn't for Q, I probably would have never went out there at this point. Because Q was like, I'm only rocking if you rock it. I was like, I mean, I guess let's go play some football then. And then the rest is history. This is sort of like what started everything was like, yeah, we got to do our own thing. Let's let's pick up from where it was. So we were supposed to make our own team from the jump. And then TJ was like, I already got the foundation and shit. So he was like, you know what? You're right. We all from Winchester. Let's go do this thing rather than taking two teams from Winchester. So we gave TNT a shot. And TJ was like, look, you run the defense. I'll do the, everything else. And then 
we just started building off of that. But this, you could tell, I didn't, I, shit, I didn't know half of these dudes. Me neither. Like, and I was on the sideline. Uh, <laughs> game. I met these motherfuckers like at the field, like, hey, my name is Damien. What's up? What's your name? What position you play? So, and for the first, like, for the first game or so, it was sort of like a filling out type of thing, like trying to get guys to trust me, like, trust me, or I've played this shit before, like, just trust me, because motherfuckers wanted to play some, like, three by three with outside linebackers and bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck? This nine, man. What the hell y'all trying to play outside linebackers for? Look, that was a style back in the day, Dane. Come on, man. The 3-3 three, three was innovative. I believed in the 3-3 three, three back then. That shit was too – it was too slow. Like, I come from eight, man, where you got these motherfuckers out in space and they just – they food. Like, they not guarding no CJ in the slot. Like, come on now. No, I agree. And that was the one changeover that really affected the Washington County Flag Football League a year Dude. later. Yeah. You got to think, less than a year from this is when ADR wins A in Hagerstown. And that is the yeah. season where we got introduced to Boone. And even before yep. Boone, that offense you guys had with Jacob Mitchell alternating with TJ, Cannon Hall alternating as a receiver and a running back. Oh, Q coming in. Look at this. Sheesh. Chuck later yeah. on with that initial TMT squad. Do you remember yeah, the I played, that spring 17? I played a I played a lot of tight end on that team. I I was I was defense and offense because Jacob liked running a tight end set, especially if CJ was in the backfield. So I ain't gonna I lie. do miss I do miss that about that team. I ain't gonna lie about that. At some point, y'all gonna see me out there at tight end again. That shit, I miss it. That's why I played in college. So you gotta go back to quarterback again. Um, actually, my eight man days when I first started playing eight man in Winchester, I was a quarterback. You guys, boom, we had some decent battles at quarterback. Um, but uh, it just, I don't know, especially an eight man. Somebody get close to me, I'm trying to stiff arm that motherfucker, so it didn't last long. See Mouse out there, too. That's what I mean. We was like, why not? Let's go play some football. You know what I mean? TJ, TJ's like that like that cousin that he's going to ask you for a favor. And I, after every so many times telling that nigga to leave you alone, you can be like, you know what? <laughs> All right, yo, I'll come through. Uh, would you say that this is probably his best game as a QB and nine man? Remember, yes. his ALU was an A team around this time. Yeah, and he <laughs> TJ, for, TJ for real. If somebody can, go PJ, run. Somebody run. can keep him under control. Run. TJ, an athlete, always have been. All right, don't run TJ me over. Just... Shit. <laughs> Be trying to keep it professional, but um. Okay, let's. Yeah, go. Let's... Jai... I could hear Jai talking Big shit Jai. during this game. Woo, Jai was talking like, mad shit during like she, this game. Yeah, okay, she, she that's good. Filming and she up the field. Let's go. I'm like, <laughs> I got that sack and Let's I go. just was Let's like, go, yeah, come here. Go. Let me get my face time. Go, Key. I love that. I love that shot. That's when the role got introduced to damn Dave right there. If anything personified you as a player to start out, <laughs> is that play. That's the introduction. Yeah, it is. All right. Needed. Yeah, I, I, like it. I said, I had a lot of fun that day. Yeah, got that it. Shit was... Ooh. Like five yards behind PJ. Oh. Oh, shit. Look, Ross, we can tell that Jace bullied you around just like Dame used to bully you around. He got me that one play. I told him he got me. Look, I'm just I'm just glad that we're at the point to where Ross knows I can post that shit and it's all jokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad that Damn, yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. I'm glad that I yeah. can post that shit. And nobody, nobody can like that's same it. with yeah. I'm when I saw it, find that, dog. <laughs> when I when I saw it and I saw it play back and I was like, oh, they reversed it on him. I was like, yeah, this. I got to post this. This is funny. I was, I was really hoping <laughs> that would just go away. 
Just fade away time. <laughs> we 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 all have you you play ball long enough. Everybody has those plays. I just get very lucky at buying our to avoid tape. That's that's it. If you play ball long enough, whether it's been back in high school, college, the league, semi pro, wherever you don't play ball at, at some point you don't got got. And if not, you lying or you not trying. That shit. Thanks. That shit happens. That shit happens. You either stand on the sideline. You, if it hadn't happened to you, you probably been standing on the sideline. <laughs> exactly. My bad, y'all. I keep checking this Texas Tech Duke game. Who's up? Texas Tech, fifteen twelve, but Duke making a run because it was like eleven to two or twelve to two at some point. Coach K ain't going down about a fight, fix. Nah, you you right. But uh, so Dame, you're returning Sunday, and it appears it's demon time for Dame this time around. Yes, sir. So in Washington County, it's demons, but uh, some people know this, some don't. But full time circuit, everything else. Um, the only reason I'm Washington County is because. I gave my word to Sean, and that's my brother. So I'm definitely rocking with Demons. And then once we win this, can't leave Demons after we walk away with the championship. So I'll probably run with Demons a couple of times in Washington County. But as far as the circuit and shit and everything else, I'm full-time misfits. So Okay. It's Demons and Misfits. That defense. Yeah, man, that's all I'm trying to be is an addition. I'm trying to help take this shit to the next level. John and Tay and them doing something special. And I'm just trying to help be a part of that shit for real, for real. There's definitely a lot of potential there for this Misfit squad right now, especially going into the April Fool's tournament next weekend up in Franklin, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have a tough matchup, though, coming ahead with the 148 athletes and the Lions as well. But I can't wait to see how they do. I looked at that roster earlier. Jamie Wolf posting the rosters all week. Misfits looking stacked. I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to play in Washington County as well. Remember, they got a doubleheader Sunday before that. They're going to get a bit of a warm-up for the circuit with Chaos and Killer Bees. Demons have their own doubleheader, however, with the Warriors and Chaos as well. Dame, your return game, and this is all by accident. I swear to you, this is not intentional. Yo, it's against this the like Warriors. Set up, ain't this shit set up for like a motherfucking movie, bro? Like, Ugh. just think about it. Like, just think about it. I've been gone for two years, not because of the Warriors, but because of somebody who was affiliated with the Warriors at the time. And then my first game back is against the Warriors. Like, I don't care what nobody says. That There's football guys. They was looking out for me. I'm going to fuck something up. I'm letting you know now. I, I apologize to whoever their quarterback is, but he he's food. I'm eating all day Sunday. That's on y'all, man. You better have a backup. <laughs> Back up. You better learn how to pull flag. They're running double quarterback. It's we're all starting to me. The, pulling the flag is option B. I'm trying to catch a body first. Pulling. If the flag fall off, the flag fall off. It's gonna be. Nah, good. I got shrooms. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Nah, I'm, I'm hype. I ain't been this hype in a long time. Same. Yeah, I can't usually, wait. This is gonna be awesome. League, league games. League games usually don't get up for me unless it's like the playoffs or unless it's like the AFM Mayhem Misfits, like that type of deal, or if there's something behind it. But like this league game, it was gonna be hype no matter what. Being back in technically Washington County. But the fact that it's the Warriors, I feel like this is it. Like, I haven't had all this shit built up. The only way it could be any better is if it was against Tom and Broadex. Or if Tom came out there and played center for the Warriors. Like, that's the only way this thing could get any better. I don't see that that happening, man. You ain't call that man. Call him. Get him on a one day. Man, we need Broadax back. (laughs) Hey, Dane, me and Tommy. Yo, you know what we need? You know what we need for the fall? Oh, Dane. Me neither, bro. I think you got me blocked. You know what we need for the fall? 
We need to get X dogs down here for the fall. We need to get broad X back. And we need to tell Jamie Lagana to come up and try to win the Washington County flag football league with the Wolverines. I don't care what he says. I feel like, yeah, they, they beat the misfits. That was, and that's, that obviously isn't no slouch, but wasn't the game getting dark or something? Wasn't there something like crazy that happened? Like, you know what I mean? I, I feel like if they played the Misfits, eight out of ten times the Misfits win. So I feel like Jamie got lucky. He got his. He ain't going to come to the Washington County. He ain't going to bring the Wolverines down to Washington County. I bet I can get him to Yo, I, he's got to come down here in the fall. I tried to I tried to get him back me a two grand. So what? I'm not with the fucking Venom. He, I was trying to play for some money too. I don't, yo, we need to make it happen. Like, we need an all champion uh, position. Every champion from the last 20 years needs to come on and, and like join the league for like one season. But I'm excited uh, to see you back out there, man. You got Warriors, you got Chaos. It's going to be a cold day, but the action is going to be hot out there in the field. We're going to have some great matchups. Yeah, man, I definitely – I think it's – looking at this Demons chat, man, I ain't going to say nothing about who's actually in there or nothing, but, hey, that motherfucker's coming out to win this shit. That's the goal, and they don't put a nice little squad together, so, I mean – long as everybody can click and play together, it's, it's going to be a problem. I'm looking forward I'm to seeing how you I'm guys excited. Play. Some of these guys I've never played with, so I'm excited to get out there, rush after the passer with some of these cats. It's going to be scary. It's going to be, like I said, quarterbacks, y'all, y'all better come. It's going to be cold Sunday, too. That means them shit's going to hurt a little bit more. Oof. Also, I misspoke. It's Misfits who has chaos in the doubleheader. My original schedule had a Demons Chaos game there, but I swapped it out. Sean's right. Just want to point okay. that out, Sean. My bad. So, so, so we only crazy. got the Warriors. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Only the Warriors. Just the Warriors. Only those guys. I'm sorry, Dame. Disappoint. That that's not now. If you had said, "Oh my bad, it's chaos," then I might have been like, "Oh fuck, here we go." <laughs> no, no disrespect. I just some of these games. I just I'm at the point in my career where it's like I didn't I didn't kind of proved everything locally. Like, motherfuckers know what's up. They know I'm a come out there and I'm a handful. They know I'm going to make plays. They know I'm going to get after it. But And they know, you know what I mean, when I run a defense, what we look like. So, I mean, at this point, unless it's top-notch teams, them chaos and killer bees, those games don't really excite me that much anymore. I used to come out there and try and bully everybody. But at this point, it's like there's no point. I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm getting old. Yeah, man. But the, war- but the Warriors, the Warriors, yeah, y'all got me. Y'all got my attention. I'm woken. I'm ready. I can't wait. That's going to be an awesome game. Demons. Who is y'all's, Warriors. Who is y'all's quarterback? Ross. Me. Ross says it's him. I heard it was KP. It's me. KP. I'm playing dumb. Keep- Keenan I'm playing Puller. dumb. I'm playing dumb. Keenan Puller. <laughs> now I know Keenan Puller. He beat too much talent once, way back in the day. You remember that one? Ducks. Nah, I, for, I forget after I got thrown out for hitting Thad a little too hard. You knocked the hell out of Thad in that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. I'm pretty sure Thad was out for like a week after that too. Like you knocked the. Fuck out of Thad. That was KP's fault. He threw a bubble screen. I was already running full speed. There was, it was just, he should have threw that bitch out of bounds. I, 
that was his fault. He needs to apologize to Thad for that. Nah, I was just mad. A couple of calls wasn't going my way. I was like, I saw the ball floating over there, and I saw him running that little bubble screen. I said, oh, my God, there's one. So I'm a change man now. I'm glad. I don't want you hitting anybody like that anymore, man. That's not nice. I can't promise that. I, how would you I'm feel if that? How would you feel if Thad tackled you like that? Good luck. <laughs> but, I mean. Bro, we had four eight-man games last Sunday in Harrisonburg. Sheesh. Had a bunch, yeah, we had a bunch of the guys out there from ADR, like Milk and SP, Cannon. We had the Dom and Alex and Beard. Ron Savage rode down there. We had fun, man. We, we ended up losing the fourth game, but we went three and one. Shit. Score difference was like a hundred to like twenty seven. What happened to the Winchester eight man league? I, I honestly, I don't know. I feel like most of the teams just, yeah. You know, I mean, there's been too long of a break with COVID. I feel like they just fell off because Mouse trying yeah. to get it started back up. I just, I feel like Winchester, they need to make a five man league. And then that shit will take off. Make a five-man contact lead. And then it'll be the only one around here. And I feel like that would really boom. Somebody got to start a five-man lead. Five-man leads are a need, like, especially, I, like, smaller towns. I feel like I feel like it's just there's so many tournaments and it's the wave right now. And I feel like it's definitely – Five and nine, man, it's just so, like, you can run so many tournaments and have those two formats at them. And I just feel like we got a five-man league around this area. It would definitely do good. Do you feel like we have almost an oversaturation of tournaments at times, so that there's, like, some too many options almost? Like, it's hard to really decide at this stage where you want to go? Yeah, I miss the days when – it was like, yeah, you had some smaller tournament here and there, but you had your, you knew what you had. Like, you was going to Atlantic City, St. Patrick's Day. You had Ocean City coming around the end of April. The first weekend in June was Virginia Beach. And then you had, like, for the up north guys, you had Rhode Island, shit like that. For the local guys, and some of the up north guys, you had Baltimore. And then for the local guys, you had the Hagerstown tournament. And that was sort of – you had little tournaments here and there. But those was what you pretty much – now, I feel like there's either not enough tournaments to where you have one tournament and then it's the rest of the summer and then you have another one or people try and just put tournaments on top of each other. Next thing you know, you got a tournament every two to three weeks. I mean, that's fun when I was younger and shit, but now with all these damn kids, it's hard. It's a, it's a new world we're entering. It really is, because, like, we talked about it earlier. None of us are really in our 20s anymore when you sit back and think of the core guys who were the young guys, so to speak, of the league five years ago when we were sitting there in Marty Snook Park on Sunday mornings having a drink, playing flag football, that spring of 2017 where all the seeds that were planted in the year prior started to grow into what the Washington County Flag Football League became today. Like, you go back now, five years ago, we were all mostly in our mid to somewhat late 20s, some guys in their early 20s. But for the most part, the core guys now – all of us, myself included, we're 30. Some of us are above 30. Some of us are nearing 30. Right. It's becoming yeah. a very real reality right now. And I'll, I'll tell you, 
if it's it's different when you get past when you hit 27. Once that's you, why. 27 that's is why. when you start feeling 30. That's why I, I'm really this year gonna be hands on as fuck with misfits. Pause. I'm gonna just be there, like uh, try and be there all the time for. I know I'm gonna miss one week for OMFFL, but besides that, I'm really gonna try and get after it these next two years. I wanna fuck around and win a national championship, and I don't wanna jump on some super team or nothing like that. I'm trying to do that shit. The motherfuckers I actually know and I'm trying to shock the world. So two more years, I'm full at it. And then by that time, my kids are gonna be a little bit older and I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have the time between coaching them and traveling with them and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Two years I'm giving myself and then after that it's time to focus on my kids and let them do their shit. Let them chase them dreams. So Two years, I'm full at it. I'm sticking with the Misfits. It is what it is. We're going to go after it. Like I said, John and Tay and Boone and all them over there, they already done built something special. And so I'm just trying to be another piece of that shit. Starting April Fool's Tournament, I'm trying to go fuck some shit up. That's the goal. I'm interested to see how that goes next weekend. That's going to be an awesome tournament. April Fool's next week. We're going to be talking about that. Yeah. Actually, um, when we do a show on that next week, one talk will return for a special April Fool's show. We'll talk about the nine-man circuit, which we haven't really visited much in a while. We've been away from the circuit for a bit, have we? Sheesh. But we're, gonna, we're back next week. We're back next week. But I'm excited for this weekend. No, nah, you're right. You're right. I'm good, though. I'm looking ahead. Like I said. So what's the other game? Say it again. I'm sorry. So who's at 9 o'clock? Top Gun and Warriors. The sixth meeting between those two squads. The rivalry renewed. Great rivalry. First time. I'm going to give you my prediction, Joe. I'm going to give you my predictions, Joe. Who you got? All right. Don't these motherfuckers always have a close game? Yep. Don't, ain't it always like let's a go back over to history? These. So, first yeah, week, spring 17, Warriors yeah. won 20 to 19. Will Dayhoff a pick six on Ricky Miller at the end to win the game. I don't even know who that is. Fall 17, <laughs> uh, fall 17, seven to six was the final there. Ricky Miller beating John Shove in a duel. Shove's Hail Mary at the end, batted down incomplete. Yeah, we go. was there. underrated. He was underrated, Jeff. Like if he you could have, if if he could have, like he was an athlete. He definitely. I don't know too much about being a quarterback. I don't know about that for him. But as an athlete, if y'all could have had a different quarterback at the time, he was definitely respect. He was he was slept on. Yeah, he definitely he was a great talent. Yeah, yeah. Um, spring of eighteen, first meeting. Warriors won 24-17. That was the game where Ricky Miller got a broken nose and bled all over his Top Gun jersey. Remember that image we had yeah. shared? Yeah, Ricky's blood on the Top Gun jersey. Yeah. Um, and then they met again about three weeks later in the B-Bracket Championship. You remember that game, Dane, when Warriors beat Top Gun 23-16 to win it. Um, Ricky Miller's Hail Mary at the end, batted down incomplete there. And then, of course, the final meeting, September 1st, 2018. Yeah, that long. September 1st, 2018. Damn. We were at North High when Top Gun rallied from an 18-0 deficit to beat the Warriors 21-18. Damn. The largest margin of victory is seven in this rivalry. By average. I think it's going to be be something like that. I think the – I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be low scoring. It's week one. It's been a while. Yeah. You can practice, have scrimmage, all that shit. But the live intensity, it usually favors the defenses in the first week. I'm going to go with the Warriors pulling it out. Maybe like 16 to to 7 to 10. 
I'll say 16-10 just because I think it's going to be a one-score game. I just think the Warriors having a kicker is what separates this situation. Top Gun might have a kicker, but I feel like special teams because the Warriors and the defense is probably going to be a little bit better on the Warriors. It's just let's see what KP does. KP, KP, is my boy. If that's who the quarterback is, I'm speaking hypothetically. He can come out there and be a top three quarterback in the league. Or if the O line's not blocking, just like almost any quarterback, he can look real average. So, I mean, I still think the Warriors are going to pull it off. I think, like I said, probably 13 10, maybe 16 10. I think this is going to be the game that we need to start out the year with. You take an old school matchup. Top Gun and Warriors. Top Gun, from what I hear, is very West Virginia heavy. They're going to come out. They know that they're going to get a chance to play in the first game in their state. And they're going to have to come out there and represent Proudly. Yep. Uh, Warriors, of course, they know it's the first game back in the league. Some of those guys have played in this rivalry before. And that's what's going to add to the intrigue factor. I get the feeling we're going to be in for a chippy old school matchup. Yeah. Special teams is where it comes down to. You know, the Warriors, they have Kyle Marshall. Top Gun question is do they bring back Corey Smith? Remember, he was there in 2018. He had the game winner against the Red Knights right. in that B bracket semifinals. The former Muscleman product, the former West Virginia kicker. I just see him back out there. Remember, in that semifinal two against the Knights, he also had three sacks on Andy that were very crucial to winning that game. So if Top Gun has all the guys back, I know they got Shad Jenkins back. I saw him weeks ago. He has been back here since 2018. That's a name from the past. Yeah. Yeah, That's a name he played with my dad back in the day. But he was Top Gun's lead wide receiver in touchdown receptions in the spring of 18. He definitely could ball. Underrated target. I still I still don't know how Joey remembers all this shit. I remember some of the shit, but Keith's like trust me, Dame. I went through a lot of forgetting before I could remember. <laughs> <laughs> My, me personally though, I think it's gonna come down to the end. I think kicking matters. Mar- Money Marshall gets it. It's going to come down to the end of one of those shit. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, dickhead. Any game ever. Same Ross. Same, same, new, same year. Right, new year. Just, same Ross. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like, any game ever came down to the end. Thank you. <laughs> Top Gun ever Warriors because fuck Ross. Well, he's just. Sorry. And a simple fuck Ross. Yeah, apparently that's the word on the street. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Two words. Make it a t-shirt. Oh. What? Damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really hard. I, I haven't got Dane going, damn. I didn't say you did. I did. You're right. I'm, hard... <laughs> I'm sorry. I get a little mean sometimes. Anyway, yep, this is anyhow, awkward. It's quiet now. It's really quiet. <laughs> yeah, all Joey's, you used to say. Yeah, Joey's man, being a fucking bully. I got to chill out, bro. I got chill. I got chill. Who you got, Ross? Warriors or Top Gun? I don't think I'm allowed to vote, am I? Are you with the Warriors still? Oh, I'm definitely voting next game, so. <laughs> Does Dave have the Warriors over the Demons? We'll find out. I got Warriors. I got Warriors 6 nothing. Over Top Gun? Yeah, I don't even like putting... You know, I actually see that happen. That's going to be my new thing. I'm, I'm putting points on the board now. Are you taking bets for those points? You, nah, well, I mean, I, I'll entertain some things, but... If you got any bets on this weekend's games... 6 nothing. Don't hit any of us up, six except for us. 6 yeah. nothing. You heard it here first. <laughs> Better be more than that. It's going to be a cold morning. Don says stop it, guys, but I don't know what he's means. That was a while ago. I'm going to keep going. 
Once in a while. What was your what was your score total for this game, Joey? Yeah, who you got? I got Top Gun 13-10. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, Top Gun better have a kicker. Like that's the biggest key. Like they gotta bring Corey Smith back if he's somewhere out there. Then one of the Colts used to get too. I think <sighs> anybody's a kicker if you just try. Warriors Demons. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be 10, 10 a.m. That's another thing. We're on uh, some rule changes. 12-minute quarters. We're going to play the circuit quarters, which I know some might not like because we lose out on the extra quarter of play that 15 offered. That being said, it's just for time constraints and also just a better way of play that's safer and allows less use of the field. Because there has been times where the field's gotten a lot of usage for an entire year, and it's led to a lot of long-term issues that's been not unfixable to date. Um, but we're going to be doing game slots about 70 minutes, which is what KFFL is doing as well up north. So we're going to kind of stay in tune with that. Referee should already have that down. We should have it down. 10-10, um, Demons, Warriors. There was a lot of uh, Warriors on the Demons last season. Yeah. So the question is, who from the Warriors stayed and who from the Warriors went back? What do you know, Dame? Y'all going to make me sound ignorant. I know they ain't missing nobody. So if somebody left, I, they was replaced. I can tell you that. Okay. Demons is locked and loaded. That's all I can say. They, they ready. How does this Demons team compare to the Spartans team you were on last spring? Um, I think that – I know the D-line's better. The athletes are about the same. The Demons have the advantage. Because most of these athletes been there, done that. That makes sense. Spartans athletes were are still learning. They were younger. Demons athletes been there, done that. The D line, I think, has more depth. Now I know has more depth. Um, I don't want to keep going because I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay. I can't wait for that matchup. This is going to be a good one. So, I know who – Dane, who do you got? I said – I know you wanted to pick this game. Give me your insight. I, I think – I think it's going to be high energy. I think this is going to be – I think, like you said, the first game, it's sort of like the appetizer. You know what I mean? Because after this game, what is it? The Misfits and the Killer Bees in there? It's going to be a Misfits Chaos and a Misfits Bees. Yeah, so the first game is the appetizer. Yeah. You know what I mean? This game's going to be the full course meal. No homo. Pause. This shit going to be everything. You're going to get your energy early. It's going to be some trash talking. There's going to be some hits. There's going to be some big plays on one side. Um, there's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a lot of energy. I feel like the second half, it might start to pull away a little bit if the Demons offense can consistently move the ball. Because I feel like the Demons, they got all the pieces. Like I said, they just got to. I put them together. They got all the pieces that you need. So I feel like towards the second half, it could sort of get carried away a little bit. Mm. I think it's going to be like 17, maybe 18 to zero. Could be worse. I'm being nice. If the offense is clicking, it could be 24 nothing, 30 nothing. You see the point that I'm making, though. They're not scoring. So, like I said, I think it's going to be like 18, 20, nothing. Damn. Your thoughts, Ross? 
Is he in Rico? Warriors East Coast. <laughs> he said what game we talk about. I thought he was confused. I'm sorry. I thought he was confused. No, nah, you're the one who's confused. Oh, no, nah, I was asking for nah, I know who I'm talking about. I, I know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I got Warriors. Yeah? Yeah. 12 to 6. Are you going to suit up and win? Yep. Are you ready to come back out there? I believe so. I don't know, man. It was a brutal scene after Jace hit you. We had to call the ambulance and everything. That, that never happened. That was the second time that, that 911 was happened. called that year to Tampa <laughs> failed. Oh no, my goodness! <laughs> Wait, hold up. Of that so you gonna tell me? You gonna tell me Jace gonna have a man pissing down his leg if he line up in front of him? Man, Ross ain't going. So, so you found the one clip of me being put. So, up. I'm tired. <laughs> no, no, I'll play. It's gonna be a good ass game. Um, it's gonna be a good game. I got Warriors twelve six. That's what you're supposed to say. You wouldn't bet on that shit. I think it's gonna be. I'll, a, I'll see you Sunday. We'll talk. I'm excited. This is gonna be an awesome Sunday. Bet you five dollars. I bet you five dollars. No, no, I'll see you Sunday. We'll talk. That's a new oh. five dollars. <laughs> ain't no point in betting on five bucks, man. <laughs> I wasn't trying to scare you away. Might as well blow one up or something like that. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm just being funny. Nah, I ain't betting none of y'all for league play until the championship. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and play uh, outside linebacker just for dang. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Wait for it. Well, but nah, I... I, I I yeah. think, like I said, I think it's going to be a good game. I, I definitely – I got Demons winning. I think the D-line, the athletes, they got all over the field. I think it's just going to be too much. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be good energy. Everybody's going to be hyped. There's going to be some trash talking. There's going to be some big plays, some big hits. But at the end of the day, I think, I think Demons – are going to pretty much make a statement. I think after this, I think the last two games are going to be good practice for misfits. Mm. They can pretty much work on whatever they want to work on, have some fun. I think it's going to be one of them. They're going to, they're going to lead the day probably like plus. It's going to get ugly. Probably like it depends on what they do. If they come out here and just put they foot on motherfuckers' throat, they can end the day plus 80. X. Especially it's especially with chaos and bees who we are un, uncertain as to what they have on terms of depth to match up to the misfits right now. Yeah, so I think I, like I said, I think the first game's gonna be probably the closest game in school, like in like score total wise, but I feel like that second game is gonna wake people up. Like, oh shit! It's Washington County's back. Yeah, it's I can good. feel it, dude. Like, I feel it in the air tonight. Like, when I was at Dupont earlier, I got chills. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I looked around and I was like, this is because it was cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's cold in Dupont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like it's like fifty four I'm really, I'm really happy with the facility we ended up with for this season. Like, I'm really happy that Dupont is working out so far. Um, being there earlier, I love the facility. I think going to a nice, more secluded spot is going to be good for us. Yeah. It allows us to do our own thing and be able to focus on us about having to worry about interfering with somebody else's stuff. I know over time when we were at Marty toward the end, we started having a lot of issues of running into people. Um, and now it's even more congested over there. Um, I think giving our own private spot. You have a chance to bit up there yet, Dame? No, no, I've been – I looked the area up. I definitely 
drive by it and I'm by the area all the time, but I've never really went back to the whole complex. Yeah, it, like as we showed earlier, like it definitely is the site I think to be for this season for us. I think it's our best bet. I like to continue building a relationship with that pe- with that area and that facility. I think you could hold some tournaments there. There definitely is potential because there is that big soccer field there, but not just mm-hmm. that. Next door to it is Spring Mills High School turf field. Yeah. And so. if yeah, so you got the turf field, you got the soccer fields, you got the other fields of Spring Mills. That's a, that, yeah, that sounds like a nice little tournament site. I like the way we think out here sometimes. Always. We always move forward. We got to be. You and you and Moats are about to do big things, man. Hey, man. Sean's the one putting the work in right now. He's done all the heavy lifting so far. Yeah, I'm but I'm sure a, the helping hand. Yeah, I've already told him, man. I'm, he's doing his thing. Definitely proud of that. He's doing big things for real. Definitely proud of him. I'm proud of Sean as well. Like he has stepped up in a really big way to help out this league this year to get it going. Um, he went, he made a big bold step. He went outside the box when it came to building this upcoming season. He wanted to get us a facility where we could do a lot of good things at, which I think DuPont is a great start uh, to that. Um, you know, ideally, I'd like to see us be able one day to run multiple facilities and have relationships with different places across the I-81 corridor, down from Chambersburg to Martinsburg. Because at the end of the day, I've been saying it for a while, all the communities around here need one another when it comes to this nine-man game. If the league was just one city, it wouldn't be a league. It'd just be two or three teams. But you you think about it all coming together. Franklin County, Washington County, Berkeley County, Frederick County have been the most crucial county. I mean, both Frederick counties, by the way, Virginia and Maryland have been very critical to the growth of this, of this league and area. Same from up North Franklin County as well, up in Carlisle where the X dogs are. Same across 70 where Baltimore has come and brought some talent over here. DC's come up at times. But the heart of this region is the I-81 corridor, Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia. And together, we help grow and build the Washington County Flag Football League and make it what it is. All these towns across 81, we need each other because we need to get that bump on the field and we need to play our game that we love. Yeah. You're right. It's changed, man. It used to be it when we started spring ball seven years ago. No. It was only Miller Light slash Broad X, Red Knights, Ruckus, Nighthawks, and Survivors. Four my time. You had four Hagerstown teams and one team from Inwood slash Martinsburg. And that was it. Wow. That was spring 2015 at Marty Snook Park. We played the first ever spring season in Washington County. We're sitting at Winchester. Winchester came out here and made this league sexy. Y'all killed it for a while. That was a hell of a run. I don't, I don't, care, I don't care what nobody said. We came out here and changed it. I don't give a fuck. Like, just, you had the Red Knights, and at that point, they had Tay and Larry and Black and all of them. But shit got taken to a whole nother level. And, yeah, you had Broadex who was running shit out here. But I'm talking just playing just the athletes, the style of football changed completely. It was either catch up or y'all was going to get left in the past. Like I said, that 3 3 shit, Boone, Boone tore, tore y'all apart. 
Hey man, the thirty, the three, three, three. You know, the, the thirty-three. You know, I can't defend that anymore. Hold on, Taylor Sutter. Who who is that? Taylor Suters. He's a lineman for Spartans. You guys, I think that was. I think it was with the bees actually when you were at Spartans. Now, oh, is, is this the motherfucker who told the sideline he couldn't block me and they pulled him off the field? He was like, I don't know what y'all want me to do. And Larry and them told him to get the fuck off the field. Is that the same Taylor that's trying to bet me 20 bucks? Look, I ain't saying that it is. It is. But it might be. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You know I'm with it. Hey, Taylor, Taylor also pulled the double last year. He became Man, the first player to ever appear on two live streams for two different teams in two different leagues at the same position in the same day. Taylor, I'll bet you 50 they take you out this game, too. How about that? Ooh. Dane versus Taylor Suiters on Sunday. Y'all going to make me get in. That's – why the question coming in the Sunday is, does Dame still have it? Not I done fell off. <laughs> I done fell off. I think Dame's a better fit in the 3-3-3. Three, three, three can't now. wait to see myself play quarterback. You will be playing Taylor's spot. <laughs> Mark Sanchez ain't got shit on it. <laughs> you will be moving right back to line after the first drive. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on your I hope you me. I hope you can snap. <laughs> you know damn well I can't, dog. <laughs> you know you that. Gonna, you all gonna have a backup center. <laughs> you already know I can't fucking snap. <laughs> oh, but I have a backup set of Taylor's, Suter, Sutter's, whatever the fuck. Come on now. Why? Why me? Why me? I feel disrespected. It's like when Webb tried to come at me. What the fuck? <laughs> who? And what, no, I'm not going to go there. Wait, we, who? We on Taylor. I'm not going to go there. We on Taylor. We, Taylor is the subject at hand. <laughs> okay. I got 20 bucks says you don't shut us out. Don't talk to me like that. You're not good. Big for nothing. Y'all gonna make me get ignorant. Right? I told y'all I was a changed man. Season ain't even fucking started yet. Man, we got three days. I'm serious though. $50, you don't finish the game. I don't care what the excuse is. 50 beans, you don't finish the game, Taylor. $50, you don't finish the game. Mm. They going to bench you or you going to get hurt. Okay, no one's going to get hurt around here. This is a family show. Damn, you seen the, You seen the – I ain't hurt nobody. His pride might be hurt. <laughs> What else we got? We got Misfits and Chaos. Everybody, I think this is going to be a tough one for Chaos. Just saying. I, I think Chaos. You know, trying to come right up the middle. He, he only talked about center. He didn't talk about either the lineman out there. It's because he knows you're playing guard, so he's not going across the edge. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not messing with Ross, man. He's too good for me. Dave gets flashbacks to that time they played with the Warriors and you guys beat him because Hyler was quarterback and that was solely it. Oh my God. I had a, I had a de- our defense had a decent game that game. Wow. But man. That D line was actually sick in that game. Like that game is an example as to why a mobile quarterback is important and not, man, sometimes. Like, yeah. offensive Brandon, he just wasn't ready for that kind of rush. I don't think not anyone could have been ready. Not at all. Yeah, we was, I don't even want to talk about that shit. <laughs> Why not? 
was, everybody has low moments, though. You know what I mean? A new era, Dame? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Oh, I can't believe I said that. This is bullshit. Brandon I'm about to get Brandon off the Yeah, he's from Jefferson County, West Virginia. This is embarrassing. The future, Dave? <laughs> yeah, you see how that happened. Where they are he'll now? Kick it off and he'll kick it deep, and Cannon will not get a chance at it. That's Cannon's first playback, too. So it goes out of bounds, and ADR will start at the 20 with Brandon Hyler at quarterback. Here we go. And now, I remember, I remember at halftime, I was telling Boone, I don't give a fuck how hurt you are. Previous two seasons. We'll put somebody's cleats on. Hyler gonna fake, <laughs> gonna fire it deep. Call incomplete. He, he had Boarding. shots. It's just he had. He did High have snap. The ball come incomplete. Well, he definitely had a fast tail feed. Well, it looked like a fake, but it's and then we find out after we find and out I afterwards is uh, quad or something. Was fucked up. Was he injured prior to that and tried to play hurt or? I have no idea. Because I, I have no idea. Don't worry. Listen, you all got the war back in the semis. Oh, well, it was given. That's part of why it was like, I was mad. But like I said, at the end of the day, it was like, I got to tell people. That shit ain't even on like top three losses that I've had. Like it was just at this point, I'd be forgetting about it until y'all pull this shit up. Now I'm like, oh my God. I, <laughs> was this one worse? We are live from Marty Park um, here in Hagerstown. A little Maryland. bit, yeah. This one, this Marty. one just because of who it was. I think we had like 13 Snap. guys here. Rush coming and intercepted. And because tier two cleared the field, this is coming all the way back. And it's a pick six, Railroaders. Touchdown, yeah. Brunswick. Yeah, look who's out there. Having some words. Snap coming, balls. You guys were very fan in that one too, though. You were right about that. But I just can't believe I ever lost to Brian Swagger or whatever the fuck his name. Swagger, Swagger. I just can't believe that. I just sometimes I wake up and like, oh my god, we lost to Brunswick. That one's that one hurts. They suck. This was the ADR we remember. Uh, he's in as well. Snap. Foster. Throws it up. Oh yeah, I need to see some of these. There's Polo. One man in motion is Mac. Snap, Foster, rush coming. Gonna get it out to McSherry, and McSherry falls immediately. Snap, rush coming, it's Dane. Pitches out to McSherry, Dave McSherry. You're about there, not fast, fast enough to get to the edge there. Foster in the gun, one tight end takes a snap. Gonna throw, oh, incomplete, Seavers. Yeah, in this. Motion, it's Mac. Snap, Foster. Foster falls, and incomplete. Snap, Foster tips to the line, intercepted Boone. Body him. And Boone pitches it back to Coley Jones. Coley's got an edge. Coley Jones, oh, a hit by Dame to Foster. And then finally they get him at the end. Boone from the gun. Who are you hitting Foster and shit, Dave? Snap, Boone yeah. throws complete. Uh, nah, I've been attacking, man. I, I just have to. For the record, that was dirty as Y'all all, all know that if I would have oh, hit that man, he would have fell Jay over, feet would have been over the top of the I tapped him because I, I didn't want to get the flag. So I was like, let me just let him know. You little punk bitch. Here you go. I don't like Foster sometimes. Sometimes, for actually, all the time, I don't like Foster. Alex Foster. I don't even like Foster. Nice snap. Foster gets it off real quick. And he, 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 put, he, he was our MVP in this game. I ain't gonna lie. Boom, boom snap, balls. Foster. But stepping up, man. avoiding F evading. Foster Foster put some deep. money on us. And it's called. Oh, incomplete. Snap, Foster. Hey, who the Stop fuck? Alex Foster trying to get away from Chris Boone, and he lost the ball instead. See Snap, what I mean? Foster. 
Going to the left side. Foster. Alex Foster. He's Calvin Ridley. Behind this by shit. AJ. He was running very so fast. Yeah, but I could I could tell that he was ready to And incomplete. Try to get it to Keys, but broke it up by Boone. Dwarf down for the Warriors. Foster takes the snap. We're a lockdown team. Gonna get it off. Complete. Yeah. Across the middle to Sherry. And he gets the first down. Oh, man. Snap. Foster. Running himself. Alex Foster pulled down from behind <laughs> by Lance here in Hagerstown, however. Foster has McSherry in motion. Takes a snap. Going to throw complete. McKinley White. McKinley pulled down. Snap. Foster. Tits in the air. Incomplete. Classic times. Yeah, those were good times. We got more memories to make Sunday and every Sunday this spring, provided there's no tournament or holiday or rain or Sundays are hard in the spring, bro. Yeah. I'm a snapper back to football down here. Joe, yeah, I got a question. I ain't trying to like take over your show. If you had a power ranking for Washington County before the season started based off what you know, what would that shit look like? Well, you see, it would look something like this. Number six, we're going to go with Top Gun because they're coming back after a four-year hiatus. No one knows exactly what this team is aside from a few of the things we've known before. Right. We do know that there's some added pieces, so it's necessarily not exactly 100% the same team, but these guys know each other. They played each other for years. They're going out there one last time for – a nice little run, but right now they got them dead last in the rankings. We don't know enough about Top Gun to really even judge on this team yet. Is it really going to be the same team from before, or will this be a disappointing reunion of a bunch of old guys? I'm back. Number five. <laughs> Number five, I want to go with Killer Bees. Don't get me wrong. The Killer Bees have a lot of buzz around them. Yeah, I would switch that just for the record, but go ahead. I'm just saying the Killer Bees are a successful team. You got to look at the history of that franchise. 2018 KFFL Fall Champions. 2021 KFFL Spring Champions. 2020 No Experience Needed Five-Man Tournament Champions. The Killer Bees know how to step up in big games. They are that franchise. You got to watch the Killer Bees. We'll see how they translate their success in the Keystone League to the Washington County League. Let's see if they can hang down here and travel down the road. Number four, I'm going to go with Chaos. Chaos is one of those teams where if it's anything like I'm imagining right now, the potential is definitely there for them to compete. How long they'll compete is going to be a question of how well they play their opponents. Right. This team is definitely smart enough and talented enough to win games, but it's going to be a matter of how they handle their competition and what's in front of them. If they play to their potential, they can steal a few wins here and there by just being smart enough to win games at the end. They can also pull off an upset. But the question is going to be exactly how does it gel, how will it work, and can they grow throughout the season to win those big games? We'll see. Number three is the Warriors. Warriors were the semifinalists last season in the Washington County Flag Football League. However, from what we're gathering, this is not entirely the Warriors we knew last spring. And it's definitely not the Warriors Frost Collins knew way back in the day. Um, it's a whole new look to the Warriors, but what helps them coming in is a lot of veteran experience up top, a lot of key players still coming back. You know, this team has gone to a semifinals in three of their last four seasons of play, and they've only fallen short to ADR and the Spartans in that time. And of course, the X Dogs in the quarterfinals of the 2020 tournament. This team has been on the cusp every year, but they've had to revamp to get there. Is this finally the year for the Warriors? We'll see. Right now, they're about number three. Number two, 
I'm going to go for this Demons team. I said it last year when the Demons came onto the scene at the four state fours that this was a team that had potential to be a top five squad in the region by the time the season, the year was done. And they showed up in a big way in KFFL as the year went on. Remember, they had a bad start. They were one and three at one point. Actually, they were 0 and three to start. And the Demons just could not get anything going. Right. But they turned it around. Kevin Clancy stepped in. It had a big impact on the team. That's my QB. So question, is Kevin Clancy the Demons QB this season, Dane? I'm not allowed to speak on that shit. Exactly, yeah. Mm. I'm not allowed to. I don't, I don't, I don't know who the quarterback is. Be shown for us. I guess we'll see on Sunday. It's gonna be S. Payton, old Sean Parker. I think it's gonna be Marshall Back Bowman. You're slaying the rock. Yeah, I'm not. Y'all ain't gonna get me in trouble with the demons, captains and shit. Right, I can't. Man. I can't say who that is. All right, man. You'll you'll see Sunday. I can't wait. That's gonna be a good game Sunday morning. I'm hyped. It's gonna be a good weekend. Yeah, and of course, my number one team, the Misfits. Who else? They are the 2020 Washington County Flag Football League champions. They dethroned the Showtime Dynasty from the top. <coughs> and they oh, have yeah. not had a lo- many losses in the last few years around here. Huh. Remember, the only losses for the Misfits in the four state region. Since 2018, are to Adrenaline Rush, Ruckus, Showtime, the Warriors, and the Wolverines. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, only five teams have beaten them in that span. This team has been a juggernaut. They came up short in the Camp and Fell Championship to the Wolverines last year. Um, gave a lot of credit to those guys from York Hanover who came over and put up a valiant fight with only about 11 bodies at the end. The Misfits, though, they're going to they're angry, they're ready to go. They did all they could to win the first year. They had the most success of any nine man team last year without a championship, though. Right. And I think this year they're coming to take all the gold they want and they're going to get what I, they need. I'll go out on a limb. I think this Misfits team is going to be better than the last Misfits team that won Washington County. That don't mean they're going to win Washington County. That, you hear what I'm saying? That doesn't mean they, that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying from a talent perspective, I think that this Misfits team is going to be better and when you look at the numbers, they'll probably put up too. I'm not trying to be funny. Misfits should win every game except for one by two to three scores easily. I agree with that. Especially yeah. last year in KFFL, this is a team that won every game by four to five touchdowns in the regular season. Yeah. I'm excited to see what they can do. I think, um, I think it's a. In, until I see what the Warriors can do, I think it's a two-team race in Washington County, with Warriors being like a two, like a type of situation. They can either be with the top two team, or depending on what, how, the, how what they come out there with, they could be with the bottom three teams. I just don't see them being. If they were with the bottom three teams, they're going to be the best of those three teams. But I think it's a two, two-team two race. See who's going to get that shit. This is going to be an awesome season to hit. The Warriors are. He's got Warriors. Of course you do. Yeah. You heard here, sir. Not if Taylor's your center. Mm. Hey, don't doubt Taylor. I think Taylor's going to step up in a big way on Sunday. Yeah, okay. 
I wasn't even mad. I, I didn't have nothing to prove. And I got him benched last time. Yeah, but who won the game? After he got benched. So is, uh, you yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm talking to I'm talking to him. Yeah, they won the game. You're right. But him, Ailiff, I'm talking Ailiff to Ailiff him. stepped up at center. I think that was Nick Aliff who stepped in for him. After somebody else tried, the one guy who plays for Broadex <laughs> or used to sometimes, they had like three or four different centers at one point. It was. I'm amazed they came back and won that game. Hey. <laughs> Once again, I don't want to talk about it. No, nah, I feel you. I'm going to talk more. I, got, you. I was about to say, I'll talk in person with you, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be ignorant. I feel the. But I also feel the so, snap. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm over here got cotton mouth like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joey, appreciate you having me, bro. Ross, I'll see you on Sunday, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for Washington County. Daddy. To, oh, we heard you. Boy, what time is it? It's 11 20. Say, say hi. Uh, oh, you ain't going to talk to him? Yeah, I got to go. But, uh, I'll see y'all on Sunday, man. Good, good luck, everybody. Stay healthy. I got to go, y'all. Hello. Nothing. We'll see you next week. Well, Sunday. <laughs>